Hello all, in this video I'll be talking about mining of multi-level association rule. Mining means basically uh, generating rules, association rules, okay, at different levels. So here we'll be talking about uh, multi-level, that means we have to look at the database uh, in multi-level format, all right, and in that multi-level format we have to try and generate the uh, association rules among the different data items all right and because we are talking of multi-level okay there are different levels we'll be talking of uh, talking talking of abstraction at different levels all right so based on that abstraction only we'll now try and generate association rules and that is why the name multi-level association rules now for that concept to be clear we will take the database uh, example that we have taken uh, earlier all electronic store okay and this particular diagram this is your multi-level diagram or what is known as hierarchy concept hierarchy diagram okay so we'll be looking earlier we used to look at the database uh, in this format okay tid so we will uh, of course this table is coming from that uh, database only if you just have a look at it you will see that uh, these are the different tids and each of the transaction you will find the item purchase so uh, this particular column is giving you the items that are there in the database. So that same thing is uh, now uh, um, depicted in a tabular or hierarchical or a tree or a multi-level format. Okay, that's why the term multi-level. Alright, so here what happens is that the level is from one level to another. When we go, we are, uh, when we are going from one level to another, we are actually going from one abstraction level to another abstraction level so if you look very carefully in this particular in a multi-level database or hierarchy you will see that uh, first of all we have a generalized node it's like a tree structure so this is your root node if you look at root node it is given all so it's like going to a shop okay so when you look at the shop when you first may uh, look at the main entry of the shop it's like that uh, this root node okay so that is your highest abstraction Abstraction means um, the details are hidden, okay, or let's say generalized. And then as you go inside the shop, then you might see different categories. You might see a computer, there's a room allotted for computer, another uh, for software, then like that. So that means you are now dividing, categorizing, all right. Further you go, or when you choose the first door, the computer, when you go inside, further you'll see there are two categories. Okay, so from generalization, we are going to like uh, becoming more specific. And further, let, let's say from computer, if you choose laptop and you don't go to desktop, all right, then in laptop also, you'll see different brands and further in different brands, different configuration laptops. Okay, so that way, mean, me, uh, what does it mean is that from one uh, abstraction level, we are going to another abstraction. Okay, or let's say from general, in your DVM, if you remember from generalized to uh, specialization adding more features all right but here because we're talking of our mining of data level okay concept hierarchy uh, we have to talk about um, your uh, this uh, uh, strong association rule items at low and primitive levels of abstraction okay so this is your low level of abstraction and this is your high level of abstraction all right so uh so in this particular example uh we have to see that the node this node is having the highest abstraction and as we go down uh we have our abstraction goes down okay and we become more uh specific right so what happens is now here when the 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 items are arranged like this how do we how do we uh how do we find the association rule okay if which are the frequent item sets which are the item sets which are related okay so association rules and for association rules we'll be needing uh, we all know support count okay support count will, will tell us whether that item is frequent or not that item can be associated or not okay so there are um, uh, there are uh, different uh, approaches which will help us in finding out uh, different association rules okay so uh, the multi-level association association rule can be mined efficient 
efficiently using concept hierarchy as you have seen in the diagram and in in that concept hierarchy diagram we have to apply what is what we already know support confidence okay if you remember support confidence uh, the, the, we check the value of the support and if it is higher than the minimum support then we can relate the items okay and then we can uh, generate the association rules so let us see the different approaches okay the first approach here is uh, by using minimum support for all levels all right or you mean not just minimum uniform that means a um, constant minimum support let us quickly look at this diagram which will make it very easy to understand that this is one level this is a part of the tree okay this is the no, higher level and this is the lower level so here abstraction is higher and here abstraction is low so abstraction is higher that means more number of items all right so here uh, following this approach we are keeping the same the uniform that means the minimum support value is uniform same that is why five percent five percent so here our support count is ten percent so all the items higher than support count that we consider as frequent okay that we can uh, say that can be uh, related all right and when we go to the next level okay the abstraction abstraction level is increasing but there also we are keeping the same uh, minimum support so this is one approach all right so there also we are keeping it same and because uh, the to uh, it, it is um, uh, five percent okay and the support is ten so here we are like distributing six plus four is ten okay so this approach also works well okay works well in associating items but then there are some uh, some disadvantages with this particular approach because we know that uh, one level items in this level will not behave exactly the same as this level okay even if you put it all together so th what happens is that this support count five percent support uh, minimum support works well okay with this we can generate um, a social so here what happens is that when we keep it same in the different levels we keep the muni muni minimum support for uh, constant support and what happens is that for the higher level it is behaving properly but for the lower levels because as we are going down okay those uh, it we may not get the proper uh, associative rules okay so that is why keeping it same is not a very good idea because as the level changes the behavior the associativeness also changes so that is why uh, because it is observed that uh, when you keep the minimum threshold high so here it is okay five percent but here it is high okay and then we, when we divide it like this we, we find that because it is higher we can miss out on some meaningful association they not they may not qualify because the value is high and at the same time if you keep it low what happens is that there may, may be too many associativeness okay too many rules coming out of it so that is the problem with keeping the uh, uniform a uh, minimum support that's why we follow the next approach in which it is uh, known as this approach is known as reduce minimum support and the first thing to look at is the difference between the minimum sub in the uh, two levels so on the top five percent that is okay with this computer the, at this level computer level all right but as we go deep down we know that uh, it will vary now okay so we are not keeping it the same but we are keeping it different like let's here it is five so here it is three okay so here when we do that we know that uh, as the level changes associative rules also changes okay and deeper the levels it is better to change the minimum sum okay so when we do that then we'll see uh, we'll see that a proper amount of associative rule comes out of it okay and it is better is always better that as we go down the level uh, it is better to decrease the minimum support count okay then only we'll see that proper and efficient associative rules comes out of it so that is the second approach which is reduce minimum support and then we have the last approach which is also which is of a different kind and which is totally based on uh, the group that is using it okay so that is why it is uh, group based it is neither uh, constant or minimum or something like that but it is group based it's totally based on um, the database user okay because at times we know that uh, many people uh, have proper knowledge of the database and know that okay if this item is uh, that can be associated with other items so in that case we don't go for uh, different levels and different support counts we straight away we associate a particular item with a uh, particular 
associative roof so in that case it is called item or group basement so we set the support in such a way that that particular item let us say diamond if, uh, if 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 in that shop diamond is very popular everyone is buying diamond so in that case we keep a particular minimum support and we know that it will, it will automatically qualify in the associative room so this third category is when the expert has full knowledge of which which item will uh, be frequently bought so this third approach is called using item or group based minimum support okay so these are the three different approaches in associate in mining association rules thank you